Hey, Critical Analysis, this is your Chapter 5 Lecture Video Part 2. So in Part 1, I went over, because Chapter 5 is a rather large chapter in terms of content area, I went over the fact that um, main idea is one of the first things we should be doing when we come across a piece of text and we want to understand what's happening. We talk about topics and main ideas in that lecture video. So if you haven't already, please make sure you view that video for coverage over topics, main ideas, directly say to main ideas, and implied main ideas, as well as actual practices with those concepts on some of your optional practice sheets. So now we're going to go ahead and get into supporting details because you have to first know what a main idea is to be able to find these. So that's why these kind of build together. So supporting details, just what it sounds like, they support, they are details that support the main idea. In every paragraph, there's only one topic and one main idea, because if you had more than that, then your paragraph will be all over the place. Uh, it wouldn't make sense, there wouldn't be cohesion. Now, after you found your topic and your main idea, then the rest of the sentences typically fall into either a major supporting detail or minor supporting detail. There are things called transition sentences and irrelevant sentences. So there are other things, but for the most part, your other sentences are either going to be some type of supporting detail. So what are they? Again, they support the main idea. They can give reasons or facts or examples, definitions, whatever it takes for those sentences to more deeply support the main idea. So in a paragraph, there is a hierarchy that exists. You have your main idea, which is your most general idea. It's your overview of what's going on in the paragraph. The major details directly support the main idea. So the main idea is presented and then the major details give a brand new piece of information, a brand new example, a brand new reason, whatever that might look like. And then the minor detail supports the major detail. These are the most specific pieces of information in the paragraph. They go into the nitty gritties, okay? So again, major details support, explain, um, describe the main idea. Minor details support, explain, describe major details. There are no rules with how many major or minor details there could be. Um, again, a lot of my students, mostly right out of high school, say something like, oh, we, you have to have major, minor, major, minor, like a pattern in your paragraph. And that's not true. You do not have to have that because, again, authors write whatever style fits them. So you could have one major detail and five minor details or vice versa. Um, you're going to have at least one major detail. Sometimes you may have no minor details. So it, again, it just depends. You have to look to see what are these sentences doing in the context of this main idea, which is why the main idea video is so important to understand that concept first. So whenever you are looking for major or minor details, these are some examples of what we would call like key or transition or signal words to let you know like, hey, this sentence is probably presenting a major detail. So if an author says something like first or another, also, that lets you know like, hey, I'm giving you another major detail here that supports this main idea. Then they might use phrases like, for example, such as, to be specific, to let you know that I'm going into even more detail. These are minor details. I'm directly supporting a previously brought up major detail. And we're going to see how these work in context here in just a few minutes. Okay, so as a reminder, the topic is really broad. It's that one word or phrase. The main idea then tells you what you're learning about the topic. What am I supposed to know about the topic? The major details go into like, hey, let me tell you more about this main idea. And then the minor details tell you even more, the little nitty gritties about the major details. If you have a longer selection, so up until this point, we've kind of just been talking about one paragraph at a time. If you have a longer selection, you kind of have to look at each of those paragraphs as like, okay, how are they supporting like maybe an overall thesis? Um, how, how do these all tie together? What details are they, they presenting to me? So we'll talk about this. I like to talk about this concept more in a chapter that goes over like thesis statements because thesis statements are the ones that you're looking at a longer piece of text. This part right here is just kind of letting you know that, yeah, we do have longer selections. Obviously, that's most of what you're reading as a college student. But for right now, we're just looking at them paragraph by paragraph at a time. We will talk about the longer selections a little bit later. Okay, so this is the gist of the major minor details right here. You find your main idea, your topic, who or what is this about? What is the author telling me about the topic? What 
did the main idea present that I can now give new information on? And then how can I nitty gritty piggyback off of those major details? So sometimes it's more easily understood in the context of an actual paragraph. So these, as I did with your main idea um, lesson, lecture, I pulled off the optional practice sheet. So I went into your Blackboard under week four, under extra practices. I went into your major minor detail practice and pulled up this document. And I'm gonna do a couple paragraph examples with you to demonstrate how I would go about kind of breaking down these paragraphs. So again, I'm gonna do a little bit of reading for you. We don't get to do that very often in here since I don't have you face to face. All right, so neighborhood watch programs are good for everyone. One reason for this is that neighborhood watches unite neighbors in a common goal. Neighbors work together to protect each other. One family's security becomes everyone's concern. Another reason is that the neighborhood watches reduce crime in a couple of ways. Posted signs act as deterrent to criminals. Neighbors in these areas are more likely to report any suspicious persons or activities. And finally, watch programs keep neighbors alert. Because neighbors meet regularly, everyone is more aware of events, rules, or changes in the community. All right, so my very first thing I need to do is find the topic. Who or what? Remember, a topic is just a word or phrase. So I can see that they're talking about neighborhood watch programs. That's my topic. I mean, neighborhood watch, watch programs. They use that phrase or a, some kind of version of that phrase over and over. That's my topic. What am I learning about neighborhood watch programs? Well, in this case, I am learning that they're good for everyone. So this first sentence is my main idea. To determine major minor details, I have to first find my main idea. Neighborhood watch programs are good for everyone. If I'm not sure if that's my main idea, I turn it into a question. How are they good for everyone? What, what do you mean they're good for everyone? Well, the rest of the paragraph tells me why. So this is now my basis to determine if something is major or minor. If it's major, it's going to tell me a brand new reason why watch programs are good for everyone. All right, paragraph or sentence two. One reason for this is they unite neighbors. Ah, key word right here, one. That lets me know, hey, this is a major detail. This is my first major detail. I will tell you that 99% of the time, if your main idea happens to be in the first sentence, the second sentence is going to be a major detail because there's nothing else for it to be talking about. But not only that, this gives us our very first reason why they're good for everyone. They unite neighbors. This is a major detail. Sentence three, neighbors work together to protect each other. Okay, that still seems to me like it's talking about uniting neighbors. So. The sentence three is not presenting me a new reason. It tags along and goes right along with sentence two. Sentence three is a minor detail. It's not giving me a brand new reason. They're good for everyone. It's following up with sentence two. One family security becomes everyone's concern. All right. Again, to me, that sounds like they're still kind of talking about being united. It's not a brand new reason. So sentence two was major. Sentences three and four were both minor details that supported sentence two. All right, number five. Another reason is they reduce crime in a couple of ways. Wait a minute. If I'm paying attention to those signal words I mentioned, they use another. That lets me know like, hey, I'm done talking about being united. I'm going to give you another reason neighborhood programs are good for everyone. They reduce crimes. Okay, so let's look at sentence six. They act as deterrents. Well, that seems to me like they're talking about reducing crime. So that's a minor detail. They are more likely to report suspicious activities. That's probably another way they're reducing crime. So sentence five was major, and then six and seven provided further details of sentence five. This is why I like to call them piggybackers, because sentences six and seven basically just go right up against sentence five. Eight, and finally, oh, finally, keyword, this is my last major detail, I'm not talking about uniting neighbors anymore. I'm not talking about reducing crime. I am now talking about being alert. And sentence nine gives me an example of how neighbors can be alert. So this one, it went, you know, main idea. And then we had major, minor, minor, major, minor, minor, major, minor. So a little bit of a pattern, but not quite. Let's look at another example. Okay, I love these kind of paragraphs because they do the work for you. If you are having trouble getting a good night's sleep, the following three tips may help. First, people who exercise sleep better. Most who exercise for 30 minutes, four times a week, fall asleep faster and sleep longer. Exercise at least two hours before bedtime to give your body time to relax after exercising. Second, certain foods can affect sleep. Avoid caffeine and nicotine, both are stimulants. 
On the other hand, bananas, cottage cheese, turkey, tuna, and calcium help the body create sleep hormones. Finally, calming habits lead to peaceful sleep. Use relaxation techniques. Breathe deeply and tighten and relax each muscle. Take a warm bath and go to bed at the same time every night. All right, hopefully you can tell they're talking about sleep, getting more sleep. Our main idea is this first sentence. If you are having trouble getting a good night's sleep, the following three tips may help. But it contains my topic, sleep. And if I turn it into a question, what tips help me sleep better? The rest of the paragraph answers that question. Now, as I said, I love paragraphs like this because it tells me right in the main idea how many major details I'm going to have. Hopefully you already see it. Three. There are three major details. Now, if I use my transition words, I can really easily identify where those major details are. First, second, finally. Okay, those were my major details right there. But not only that, here's the first tip. Exercise. You can see sentences three and four both still talk about exercise. Those are minor details. They're backing up sentence two. Five talks about food. It says second, food. Sentences six and seven still talk about food and, and things found in different foods. Minor details. Eight, finally, calming habits. That's our third and last tip. Nine and 10 give examples of calming habits. Okay, so I love, again, sentences like that where the main idea does the work for you and you just kind of have to use your knowledge of transition words to guide where those major details are. Let's look at another one. Dogs benefit humans in many ways. Ah, oh, if you've already watched lecture video number one, you know that I love these kind of words. Several, many, various. It lets you know like, hey, I'm taking something that has a lot of detail and I'm trying to summarize it for you. So right off the bat, my main idea kind of alerts are going off because this is a possibility of a good main idea sentence. It's a really general summary sentence. Um, first, dogs often act as companions, giving their owners love and attention. This is why they are called man's best friend. Next, they protect their owner's property. For example, they protect homes, work sites, and junkyards. They also work as seeing eye dogs, assisting the blind. For instance, they can assist the blind person with crossing the street safely or maneuvering through a crowded store. Moreover, they assist paraplegics by fetching their owner's needed item. A case in point is my friend Bob, who has a golden retriever that trails him all day long, picking up dropped items such as his pens and fetching things such as the newspaper that Bob needs. All right, so I'm going to be steadfast in the fact that this is my main idea. Dogs benefit humans in many ways. It is the most general sentence in the paragraph. I can turn it into a question and say, how do they benefit humans? I can also use my knowledge of signal words and phrases to help me identify the relationships if a sentence is major or minor. Sentence two, it follows the main idea, but not only that, it's my first benefit. They act as companions. It uses the word first, and it's my first benefit. They're companions. Three is, that's why they're called man's best friend. That's minor. That's just telling me about the companionship. Four, next they protect property. I haven't heard about protecting property yet. That's a brand new reason. And it uses the signal word next. That's a major detail. For example, they protect. Okay, so we're still talking about protection and they use the phrase, for example, I'm getting even more nitty or grittier. That is a minor detail supporting sentence four. They also work as seeing eye dogs. We haven't talked about seeing eye dogs yet. So sentence six is a brand new detail. So that is a major detail. For instance, the blind person, so giving more examples of assisting the blind, that's a minor detail. Eight, moreover, they assist paraplegics. We're not talking about the blind anymore. New benefit, paraplegics. And then nine gives an example of someone who's a paraplegic. Okay, so this one really was helped guided by first, for example, next, for instance, to let us know like, hey, here's where your major minor details are located. Again, as you're looking for them, you're asking yourself, is this a brand new benefit, brand new reason, brand new example, whatever it might be, that directly supports the main idea? Or are they going into more nitty gritty detail about an idea they've already brought up in a previous sentence? Let's do one more. A study at one prison showing that owning a pet can change a hardened prison inmate into a more caring person. Another study discovered that senior citizens, both those living alone and those in nursing homes, became more interested in life when they were given pets to care for. Even emotionally disturbed children have been observed to smile and react with interest if there is a cuddly kitten or a puppy to hold. Animals then can be a means of therapy for many kinds of individuals. All right, so my topic seems to be pets or animals. That's what they're talking about here. And my last sentence seems to be the one to sum it up. It has a cheat word, many. Animals can be a means of therapy for many kinds of individuals. If I turn that into a question, what kinds of individuals could benefit from animals? 
the rest of my paragraph does answer that. So my main idea is the last sentence. So now I've got to go up. When that happens, usually your first sentence is your is a major detail. But here's one type. Prisoners, they benefit from animals. That's a major detail. That's one type of individual. Two talks about senior citizens. I'm not talking about prisoners anymore. Brand new type of person. That's also a major detail. Three, emotionally disturbed children. Well, another type of person. So sentences one, two, and three are all major details. There are no minor details in this paragraph. Now, had they gone into more detail, let's say with senior citizens, and they talk about how there's pet days and they bring in pets and the senior citizens can you know, choose a pet, then that would have been minor. But because they didn't go into any more detail in any of those particular sentences, those are all just major details. All right, as I said in my main idea video, please feel free to look inside your text where it talks about what are supporting details and it goes into more you know, detail about all of these different ways to look at it, practices. Um, you'll have to practice it a little bit in your readings on your text and skill sheet this week. If you want extra practice, if you want to make a Zoom appointment, anything like that, please let me know if you want additional support. All right. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day or evening or morning whenever you're watching this and I'll talk to you later.